Good morning and welcome back to another Artist Alley vlog. So it is the first Artist Alley of the year. We are at SAC Anime Winter in Sacramento, California. And I hope it's gonna stay as clear as it is right now because it is expected to storm a lot this weekend. And I'm really nervous, not only about how that's going to affect attendance, but also about getting home because there's a lot of flooding. So it is Friday morning. We have just gotten up and gotten ready in the hotel and all of our stuff is at the convention center. It's not set up yet, so let's go get ready. It has been a whole thing to get set up today. And it's a couple hours later, but we've moved our booth to the corner. <laughs> Ryan is demoing the goodest boy on his oh, new base, and it's very sturdy, so <laughs> he can wiggle all over the place. Please don't. And we're opening our little goodie bag from Janice. Thank you, Janice. Yay. Oh, there are some Pokemon cards in there for you. It has been non-stop, but here's the back of the booth. Seems chaotic, but it's actually functioning quite well. Final hour. Good morning, it is day two. So I didn't do a lot of vlogging yesterday for a couple of reasons. And one of them was that I'm actively fighting a sinus infection. So I felt like absolute garbage yesterday. Um, and we were running really late to get to the con to set up. And we literally had a little bit of a meltdown crisis. Uh, I didn't do a test display for this show like I usually do. And it um, came back to haunt us. So we were scrambling to put something together to fit all the new stuff and eventually we got it to come together but you know it was a rough morning and it was just so busy all day on friday that i barely had time to even think about vlogging so i'm going to try and be better about it today but hopefully the weather will hold for a while and it will be just as busy if not busier than friday so let's get to the show Line around the building even though it's freaking cold out there. Yay! We're here for day two. This has been surprisingly popular. If you watched my prep video, you'll know that this was full to the brim. So this is, I don't know, a third gone so we'll see how this does the weekend it might sell out but everything else is doing pretty good we really like the corner spot there's Ariel's booth you've got this whole aisle space and there's Melissa director yes <laughs> One of those? 
seven. Uh, if it's the only option. hours before con closes and the balls are almost gone post saturday sushi dinner <laughs> and for dessert ryan has never had deep fried ice cream good morning it is day three we are already on our way um, it's about 8 o'clock and we have to charge the Tesla. We didn't charge it last night and it's dangerously low and it's cold outside, which the battery doesn't like. So we decided, well, we have to go charge anyways. Let's go get some breakfast. So we're going to do that and get to day three. And hopefully I don't die today because we got very little sleep last night. It was extremely windy. The whole hotel was shaking. It was very frightening. So... Hopefully nobody was affected by the storm that watches my vlogs. And if you were, I'm really sorry. It was very scary. So let's do day three. Good morning, booth. Open for business, day three.
The gumball machine of tiny pins is all gone. Oh, it's it's empty, except empty balls. I have never sold out of this many things at Sack Anime. Mystery bags are gone. All the sticker books are gone. There's, I think, one or two of the sticker sheets that I took out that are sold out. Um, I'm down to one of a lot of these washi tapes. And stickers have sold out. The patch is sold out. Keychains have sold out. Pins have sold out. Crazy times, my dudes. Last five minutes, even more destruction has happened. I've sold out of even more things and even some of the display things that I wasn't gonna sell. Ah, so many stickers, so many washi tapes. Totes actually fared pretty well this con. Last time I sold out completely, but we still have quite a few for next weekend. But this is, this is record breaking. My booth is barren, absolutely barren. Thank you, Sack Anime, so much. Sack Anime Winter 2023 is a wrap. <sighs> okay, so it is a couple days after Sack Anime, and I had to take a couple days to just be because, you know, doing con crunch and then a con through a sinus infection is not good. Thank God my antibiotics kicked in on Saturday and I was able to power through for the rest of the weekend, but my body has definitely been in rest mode. But uh, I'm gonna start off by saying a huge thank you to literally everybody. <laughs> if you were at SAC Anime, thank you, because I know it was record breaking for me and I think they were saying over the loudspeakers on Saturday that they had record ticket sales for the winter event. So the fact that, I mean, we all know that summer is the bigger show and I had just broken records at that show in September and then to come back in January and break those records during a storm <laughs> is amazing. So thank you guys so, 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 so much for helping me start this year off right because I did not end 2022 on a great note. I had a bunch of bad shows and it was just really hard. So to have a win right out the gate is a huge boost in confidence. Um, I also wanna quickly say like, I've never had so many people come up to my table and thank me for my content. I had a lot of other vendors come up and say like, I watch your vlogs, thank you for the stuff that you do. I had a bunch of people give me gifts. Janice always comes by and gives little presents in the Artist Alley. She is the Santa Claus of the Artist Alley. So thank you, Janice. But thank you everyone else who came by and gave me a little something. It's like never expected. It's always like a huge, just like, I don't, I don't even, it's, it always makes me happy to receive something. But people that were coming up and saying they watched my videos and like we're shy about it. Like I don't ever know how to be when people are starstruck around me because I'm just me. But like that always, that always makes my whole event. So thank you guys for telling me because I love hearing that. I, I feel like I'm still struggling to break through on YouTube. So to know that people are watching my stuff and it's well received is, it's, it's why I keep doing it. So <clears throat> on to the good stuff. Um, I will say, I say this at the end of every Artist Alley vlog, I always talk about the percentages of my profits and expenses here 
But if you go to my Patreon and subscribe for $5 or more, you can see this video and all my other Artist Alley videos with all the dollar amounts broken down to see exactly what I spent to be at the show and exactly what I made in profit. So here's the beautiful pie chart and oh, it's a lot of green. As always, my most expensive expense is the hotel um, and then food. Ryan, we have to stop eating out so much. But no, it's it actually, it, it didn't matter. Like I tell him when I'm doing good like this, I don't mind treating us and helping him feel like he's rewarded for all of his hard work and for shuttling me around because he calls me his passenger princess because I don't have to do any of the driving. So thank you, Ryan. Um, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's a good one. I felt like there were a lot more cash sales at this show than usual. I, but like, obviously that's not the case. Um, I had a good 10% more of card sales than I did cash. But it felt like a lot of cash, and that could have been because of the uh, tiny pin gumball machine. It was a lot of... I, I had to go to the bank Saturday night because my cash box was overflowing. Um, and I've never had to do that before. But having the $2 price point item seems to have gotten me a lot of smaller bills and just a lot of bills in general. So uh, we're going to try it again at the next show. But yeah, it's, it's a beautiful pie chart. I'm very pleased with this one. Um, yeah, thank you guys again. Like, it wasn't a very big record-breaking weekend compared to the last SAC anime. It was only, it was by a very small amount that the record was broken, but the fact that the record was still broken at the lesser SAC anime show is still pretty cool, so I cannot wait to see how things go in the summer because my booth will probably, Ryan wants to help me create a, a like standard booth display that can stretch to fit any size table and we're gonna take February to work on that for the March shows um, it might be similar to what we're already working with because that seems to work well and it already kind of stretches to fit but he has he has ideas that I'm into so we're gonna play with it um, but yeah I have a lot of exciting things that I'll have at the SAC Anime Show in summer, including the best boy. This is prototype number one, but the best boy will be there for sale in person. So, but yeah. Um, I'm going to keep this one short. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you again if you were there, and especially if you stopped by and bought from me. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. And that's why I wish you the best to say goodbye. You start to get dressed and then we cry. Cause we both know it's gonna hurt. But not as much as this does. We had a good run.